You've got to have a bit of fun, haven't you, when you're designing and that sort of thing. So we've done after two things. From that wall, back this way, is sort of Flintstones, with all the timber and everything. And from that wall, that way, is Jetsons. And that's where, that's where all the fun is. I did the material, uh, which is ferrous cement, for my final year thesis in architecture. Once I passed, I uh, then said, well, let's see if it works. We had to actually invent a lot of tools to do it, um, like curb ladders and there's sort of 350,000 ties in the, in the thing. So we invented a, a tying machine that cuts it off and breaks it off. And yeah, so it was very challenging, especially when we needed a new tool for something. But it was just, as the problem came up, we just solved it, that's all. Oh, I love everything about it because it's so simplistic. Yeah, and it, and it suits the material too. All the rooms flow onto one another, so and there's a hell of a lot of uh, light comes in. We've got the uh, blinds on the windows, and I couldn't get them to work exactly how I wanted it. I knew NASA had something like it on their Mars rover, and I rang up NASA, got onto somebody who was willing to talk to me. <laughs> And in four days, they had the drawings to me. It didn't do me much good, but I just, I'm surprised they never even answered the phone call. There's 11 domes, ranging from four metres diameter to eight metres diameter. And they're all uh, welded together to give you the flow through the house. Um, and you could, it's about 16 rooms and a thousand and 50 square metres of floor space over three levels, which is about four houses, so it's, it's, it's rather large. Like you don't even notice the ceiling, right? Most of the ceilings here are four metres plus, and the spaces just flow on from one to the other. And I suppose I just wanted to prove my thesis is one, and look, it was a lot of fun to do. <laughs>